Just under 15 years ago, Arvind Kejriwal caught the eye as the self-righteous cohort of anti-corruption crusader Anna Hazare. The India Against Corruption movement dropped anchor in New Delhi, but was led by the rustic septuagenarian from Maharashtra who would prove to be the undoing of the UPA government. It was said in those days, and I'm talking about 2012, 2013, 2014, that every word that came out of Anna's mouth was scripted by Kejriwal, who had a posho for virtue signaling. As the original populist, Kejriwal believed there were only two types of people, the oppressed Aam Admi and the oppressor Khas Admi. The latter, according to Kejriwal, were a ruling club of oligarchs that exploited and looted the hapless poor but were essentially ring-fenced by a system that they themselves created to escape accountability. Kejriwal vowed to the Aam Aadmi that he would flatten the system and ring in an era of true Swarajya. Needless to say, Kejriwal had the people of Delhi, which was his first Karma Bhumi, eating out of the palm of his hand. Today, many moons later, the anti-graph saviour has become suspect in a graft case. Yes, viewers, 180 degrees, the needle of time, of fate, of consequence, it has turned 180 degrees. Buoyed by an almost invincible majority in the Delhi Assembly, Kejriwal created his own system that many say instilled within him an air of impunity. He could do what he liked. Today, the Delhi High Court has in a sucker punch of an order knocked Kejriwal down to the earth by claiming that the material collected by the Enforcement Directorate Court reveals Arvind Kejriwal conspired and was actively involved in the use and concealment of proceeds of crime, unquote. The Delhi High Court didn't stop there. It added, quote, the enforcement directorate case also reveals that he was involved in his personal capacity as well as convener of AAP, unquote. The court further mentioned that the court material included statements of Hawala dealers, a member of AAP, etc., unquote. Now, while the verdict upholding the legality of Kejriwal's arrest is not a final one, and nor is it a confirmation of Kejriwal's guilt, it is worth going over some of the points made by the Delhi High Court. Viewers, let's look at some of those important statements that have been recorded. The evidence collected by the Enforcement Director reveals Arvind Kejriwal was part of the conspiracy. The court says that the evidence shows active involvement of Delhi Chief Minister and the concealment, very important, the concealment of proceeds of crime. The Delhi High Court goes on to observe that the evidence with the Enforcement Directorate shows link between Havana dealers and AAP candidates in Goa. Remember viewers, the Enforcement Directorate has been saying that the proceeds of crime were used to fund the AAP's election campaign in Goa. The Delhi High Court notes that the ED was in possession of enough material which led to Arvind Kejriwal's arrest and that the ED case reveals Kejriwal was involved in a personal capacity as well as the AAP convener. Doubting pardon to approvers amounts to casting aspersions on judicial process. Now this was something that the AAP has been constantly doing, saying that those that have turned approver were also contributors to the BJP's election campaigns, that they bought electoral bonds. But the Delhi High Court says who gives tickets or who purchases electoral bonds is not the concern of the court. The court has to examine the arrest and remand as per law, irrespective of the timing of the polls. The court cited more facts from legal procedure, saying agency can't be directed to conduct a probe as per the convenience of a person, that the court won't lay down different legal categories for common citizens and a chief minister. One would have thought, viewers, 
as the archetypal Aam Admi, this would be obvious to Mr. K. Jival. But clearly, as Chief Minister, ruling, as I told you, a big majority, he might have got convinced of his own invincibility. The AAP, of course, has decided to move the Supreme Court, and it will perhaps do so tomorrow. All eyes will, of course, be on the top court. But what will sting the AAP most is that the court has also nixed two very important political points raised by the party to insinuate that Kejriwal was the victim of a witch hunt. First, the court has made it clear that the timing of the arrest itself cannot be questioned. And second, that the reliability of the witnesses deposing against Kejriwal cannot be prima facie doubted. The puncturing of these two AAP rebuttals will serve to vindicate the Prime Minister's own defence of the Enforcement Directorate and the process undertaken by anti-graft agencies to eradicate corruption under the NDA's watch. And this is what the Prime Minister Narendra Modi had said when his administration was questioned, not just by the Aam Admi Party, but the India Alliance as a whole, as launching a witch hunt against the opposition to deny them a living playing field going into the 2024 general elections. Listen in. Modi ne jab gotale bajon ka rasta roka, jab bicholiyon ki kamai band ki, tab se inka para saathma asman par pahunch gaya hai. Ye Modi ke sath par badke Chhattisgarh mein Congress ke prastaachar par. आज कड़ी कार्रवाई हो रही है यहां के युवाओं को जिन्होंने धोखा दिया है उनकी तेजी से जांच चल रही है हम नाराज होकर ये लाठी से मोदी का सिर फोड़ने की धमकी दे रहे हैं और इसलिए मैं कहता हूं प्रस्ताचार हटाओ और वो क्या कहते हैं वो कहते हैं प्रस्ताचारी बचाओ चुनाव की रैलियां नहीं कर रहे हैं प्रस्ताचारी को बचाने की रैलियां कर रहे हैं लेकिन ये सारे लोग कान खोल के सुन ले ये मोदी को कितनी भी धमकियां दे दे भ्रष्टाचारियों को जेल जाना ही पड़ेगा ये मोदी की गारंटी है वेल व्यूअर्स लेट्स नॉट फर्गेट दैट द पिक्चर्स दैट यू आर सीइंग ऑन द राइट ऑफ योर स्क्रीन्स आर फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु वेयर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर टुडे इज इन चेन्नई एंड ही इज होल्डिंग दैट रोड शो and look at the sea of well wishers now remember that the dmk government in tamil nadu the dmk party has also been a bitter critic of the prime minister's crackdown on corruption saying that it has been time to the elections today the delhi high court has gone out there and defended the process and the procedure employed by the enforcement directorate saying that you cannot you cannot determine and dictate the time where you will be answering to the to the enforcement agencies so viewers a big message and the prime minister feeling clearly relieved and vindicated you can see him there waving the lotus symbol at the crowd ensuring that uh, the brand of the bharatiya janata party its emblem is imprinted on the voter when he goes out there to cast a vote now let's open this up viewers because a time of reckoning really for the aam aadmi party and and i want to begin first with uh, tehsin punawala huda zariwala of course uh, we have with us also sanju varma and karan varma last but not least and and i want to first begin with you ms zariwala today today there are two things that have happened and let's first be very clear this is not a conviction we are not saying this is a conviction but it was mr kejriwal who went and said look my arrest is illegal today the legality of that arrest has been upheld from that singular point of view this is a massive blow perception blow to the image of mr kejriwal 
His arrest is clearly not illegal, neither has it been timed to the election or born out of malafide as the court has said. This shows that, well, there is prima facie evidence and it's not looking good for Mr. K. Jiwal. Would you not agree at least today? Well, good evening, Rahul ji. Um, honestly, the remand application which was rejected by the High Court is only for the arrest itself and not on the merit of the case as itself. So basically what this goes on to show is that the entire trial is yet to be seen. Um, the ED is yet to uh, prove everything that it is doing tall claims on. I mean, so far we still haven't as yet, let's not forget, seen a money trail or the proceeds of crime. The ED can make whatever tall claims it wants, but then at the end of the day, let's also not forget that it was not able to oppose the bail of Sanjay Singh Ji. So clearly, it goes on to show that the ED will keep doing what it keeps doing at the behest of the BJP and a lot of it is yet to be proven. Also, let's not forget that the PMLA Act um, under, you know, the draconian law of the ED in which there's a section 25, uh, sorry, a section 45, which goes on to show that, um, you know, unlike the courts of law here, uh, an, an accused is not innocent until proven guilty, but it is the other way around. And also the burden of proof falls on the accused. So at this point in time, Arvind Kejriwal, geez, uh, no, but, uh, you know, Huda, Zariwala, has not been rejected all of this, by the Supreme Court. All of what you're saying uh, would obviously was raised by Mr. Kejriwal himself and his attorneys in the court, as we know. But there are two statements. Evidence with ED shows link between Hawala dealers and AAP candidates in Goa, which means that there is prima facie a money trail. One. Number two, ED was in possession of enough material which led to Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. So it was not arbitrary that there is material evidence. Now, this yet, taken together, ma'am, no, taken to it. Look, let's go be very realistic. Every trial has to proceed in stages. At this moment, prima facie. The evidence that has been adduced by the Enforcement Directorate is enough to suggest that Mr. Kejriwal is a suspect. Now, for a party that considered itself squeaky clean, led by a leader who starved almost to death, not once but twice, fighting corruption, perceptorially, this is not going to go down well. What would you have said had he walked out today? Had the arrest been deemed illegal. You would have said, see, we told you. Conversely, therefore, today you have to accept that there is no smoke without fire. Yes or no? There are two statements that I'd like to quote here. One is by the Supreme Court Bar Association ex-president Dushyant Daviji, who said that the judiciary is clearly under pressure. There's another statement by uh, Justice Chandra Thurudi, Oh my God. who says that the lower courts do not give bail because of special acts. So we should be taking all of these statements. This is not a lower court. This is the Delhi High Court, ma'am. This is a precedent setting and court. Yet, and yet lower than the Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court is the final court of authority in and the country. And you're saying the that the judiciary is, what, is under pressure. Absolutely. In this case, we are absolutely saying that sort of Bharat okay. So how did Sanjay that. Singh? I mean, how did Sanjay Singh then get relief from the Supreme Court? We got relief from the Supreme Court, oh. and in this case also, so our High Party Court is judge. Applying on so you're saying a High Court judge is more compromised than a Supreme Court judge? Is that what you're saying? What we are saying is that as of now, an ED, no, what are you a saying? CBI, no, no, hang on, hang on. When you say that the judiciary is acting at the behest no, no, of the second. BJP. No, no, fine. The judiciary is under pressure, you are saying. You need to be very clear because there is a contempt provision under the law and it can be used against you, Huda Zariwala. Are you saying that the, high court, that the High Court is under pressure, political pressure, that it has become an extension of... Uh, the government? Are you saying this? Really? And I mean, how else would you justify all the arrests that have been taking place for the past two okay. years? This case has been going on for two years. Okay. Manish, this well, one second, language one second, one second. One you are year. making a very, 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 very tendentious claim. Let me bring in Hardeep Singh Puri, Union Minister. One second, one second. Let me bring in Hardeep Singh Puri, Union Minister. Uh, Mr. Puri, very good evening to you. I want to ask you, how do you view what has transpired in the Delhi High Court today with respect 
to the Kejriwal matter, your opening reactions. Rahul ji, what has transpired in the Delhi High Court is a clear case of the facts being allowed to speak for themselves and the learned High Court taking cognizance of that. This was not a bail application. It was a challenge to the arrest and remand. And it was a challenge under Section 19 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, where Mr. Kejriwal's lawyers tried to argue that the arrest violated that section or was not in order. And the judge was unsparing. And I just want to point out the three elements in the judgment which make it absolutely clear as to what we are dealing with. The learned judge said that Mr. Kejriwal was responsible not only in his personal capacity because he was part of the formulation of the excise policy. And I'll come to that in a minute later. He was also responsible as chief minister because earlier he had suggested that Mr. Ravi Nair did not report to him but reported instead to Marlene uh, Atishi and to Mr. Bharatwaj. And third, as the convener of the Aam Army Party, he was personally responsible for demanding kickbacks. So there can be no ambiguity about what the learned judge said. And I also want to remind you that this excise policy was formulated as per an order that I have in front of me. It started on September 4, 2020, when Delhi was reeling under the effect of a once in a lifetime, once in a century pandemic. People were dying. People were looking for oxygen. People needed uh, vaccines. People needed to save their lives. Mr. Kedriwal set up this Delhi excise policy for the year 21-22 and this policy came into being in November 21 and it continued to July 22. It was argued by Mr. Kedriwal's lawyers that Mr. Kedriwal yes. was in fact not responsible personally. He brought in the Money Laundering Act. He fought in the fact that there's an election. The judge was very clear, unambiguous that the timing has nothing to do. And I want to recall for you, Rahulji, he's since November 2023, Mr. Kejriwal has received nine summons. If he was clear after the first or second summons, he should have gone to the enforcement directorate or invited okay. them and said, here are the facts. No, he kept evading the summons till on the night of 21 and 22 March, they visited that Aam Army Party's humble abode. Okay. The Even Mahal, and arrested him. Okay. This Even was a challenge to the arrest and the remand. Okay. Well, that of course has been very, very, very succinctly and sharply clarified by the Delhi High Court that a law cannot differentiate between a chief minister and the Aam Admi and somebody as powerful etc. The chief minister can't determine when he should be arrested. So we'll just set that aside for a few moments. What the AAP came out and said right after Sanjay Singh, person who just got bail from the Supreme Court, he came out and said that, look, the two approvers in this case are compromised. They are unreliable because they funded the BJP and one of their fathers has, in fact, even got a ticket to contest the BJP election from uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh. Now, he's talking about Magunta Reddy and his son. So, I, I want to ask you, would this not be an obvious conflict of interest? Two approvers both sort of funded the BJP electorally. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Rahulji, for asking this question. Since we are analyzing or discussing what the learned court said, learned judge said, let me quote to you the exact words. And I read out from um, this um, uh, uh, thing called, um, what is this called? The Order. live law. Yeah. It says the court, however, made it clear that approval statements are recorded by the court and not by the probe agency to cast, I quote, to cast aspersions on the manner of recording statements of approver would amount to casting aspersions on the judicial process. 
the law of approver is more than 100 years old i emphasize more than 100 years old it is not a one year old law to suggest as if it was enacted to falsely implicate the petitioner then it added and i quote who gave tickets for contesting elections or who purchases electoral bonds is not the concern of the court i think it's as clear as daylight they have tried to introduce this element they tried to introduce a diversion and the learned judge honorable judge has come down very clearly saying a the arrest and the remand are perfectly in order it's not a violation of section 19 of the prevention of money laundering act there are the statements of the approvers have been correctly approved have been correctly obtained before by the court and that to question that amounts to casting aspersions okay. on the judiciary itself okay so mr puri let me ask you because you once held the urban development portfolio so you know that delhi I still hold it yes you did and uh, the the union territory of delhi of course is run by the chief minister and the lieutenant governor in conjunction and you are aware of this so i want to ask you now do you believe that mr kejriwal government a because of the fact that the court has come out and said that look uh, mr kejriwal didn't just accept money or what have you in his personal capacity but also as aap convener has he lost the authority to rule has the aap government itself lost the authority to rule and therefore you are going to consider at the central level perhaps president's rule rahul ji uh, it's always a pleasure talking to you because you bring in so many sophisticated concepts right in one go let me just put it one way i am the minister for housing and urban affairs and delhi enjoys a very special situation you have an elected government in delhi which exercises a sets of powers you have a lieutenant governor the dda and all this and you have a central ministry of housing and urban affairs which in this tripartite structure has a role to play now as far as i am concerned i can speak in my capacity as a bjp spokesperson hmm. if you ask me has mr kejriwal lost his credibility has he lost the right to remain chief minister my answer rahul ji would be an unambiguous yes i think by any yardstick any yardstick any template of political decency and morality mr kejriwal should have stepped down by now so that is one what the central government will do is not for me as a bjp spokesman i am not appearing here in as in my capacity as a union minister the central government is larger and i think the central government will take the call whenever it is required to today all i would say is in my capacity as a bjp pravakta appearing in your show i would say i think he has forfeited that right he has lost the credibility and i think for him to continue to try and govern and govern delhi a task which he did not equip himself with distinction even when he was not behind bars i think he has lost his credibility and i think he should step down but that's my view as a bjp spokesperson what action the central government is because you spoke about president's rule that's above my pay grade that's something the central government has to address uh, okay final question uh, political one in case he says that look i am going to resign as chief minister but my wife or someone else from the up will continue in my stead would that be acceptable mr puri to you first of, first of all i think again your question has two parts one is his wife or someone else well from whatever we've seen rahul ji we have a interesting situation we have an interesting situation in which uh, the wife is now beginning to assume a larger political role and if i may be allowed to say i had said this several weeks ago that this is another rabri devi ji in the making she is becoming a new rabri now whether she sits and first she invites uh, uh, kalpana soren ji to her house to that common uh, 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 abode called the sheeshmal they uh, gale mile then wo bhrashtacharyon ke sath gale mile that is a role that they will have to take the decision now whether it is her or someone else who assumes the role of chief minister and what kind of a role they want to play in the political process is not for me to comment therefore your question would that be acceptable i'm going to duck that because what is acceptable to me may not be acceptable overall okay. i think people have to make the judgment but i am very clear i think they've they've 
transgressed crossed all lines of propriety and political decorum and i think it's about time that mr kejriwal starts preparing for the trial in right earnest and not politically victimizing it and playing chief minister and playing the victim card both together well uh, the irony certainly won't be lost on lots of people including those who are up voters uh, mr puri here was a savior presented himself as an anti graft uh, savior and today he's a suspect well we leave it at that mr puri very interesting days ahead for the union capital viewers very interesting days how will this sort itself out thank you mr puri let's just go back uh, to some of the panelists we've had on the show and i want to bring in uh, very very quickly tehsin punawala mr punawala now you know, this sort of puts also the congress in a bit of a dilemma you're a partner of the aam aadmi party that at one time you would say was the b team of the bjp and today the chief minister who was seen to be an anti corruption crusader of unimpeachable you know moral authority etc etc is a suspect and not just a suspect as in you know someone who was pulled in etc etc but the evidence shows and i'm quoting the court the active involvement of delhi chief minister in concealment of proceeds of crime mr markan is right from your party he's up and i know that he's a mentor of yours no no he's how not how right ajay markan got he's this he's not my mentor how right ajay markan got this okay. how right ms dikshit sun sandeep dikshit got this can you today pull a straight face and say that the congress is going to support this up now even now so even Ra now so rahul at the onset a very happy uh, hindu navvarsh to you and your family to all the viewers to all the panelists and uh, happy navratri godi padwa and uh, uh, ugadi uh, two things Uh, and I st strongly want to make it clear, Mr. Markan is no mentor but, of mine. But you will say not. today he, that he is he's somebody I know. He's not a Forget mentor. Forget the prime minister. Yeah. At least Mr. Markan is vindicated today, my dear Look, man. My friend D K Shiv Kumar, his matter went to court a number of times, including the Honorable Delhi High Court, number of times, and they made all these statements. In fact, I remember Rahul in a show with you. uh you did question the ed they had evidence of 90 crore rupees with dk shiv kumar what happened the case is closed shut dk kumar was he arrested case. yes he was he spent a year in jail he spent a year he was in jail the process is the punishment sanjay raut the process is the punishment and we've gone through this out of the 12000 odd ed cases 12 or 14 have got bail the process is the punishment but pml have, you know the ed yes, has 6, a conviction rate it doesn't have a conviction 90. rate that's a lie it's a lie yes the ed is said and it puts it on the website 95 odd percent conviction rate all of those 23 of the 25 cases are up era in this era it's 0.4% that's the ed for you and nothing is going to happen the process is going to be the punishment and 2 years from now arvin kejriwal so mr markan is wrong well mr markan is somebody i don't uh, take uh, i don't seem too much for him you don't take seriously no, no, even though he is one of the people the in charge i don't know he's the congress leader i don't take what he said i've not seen it i go by what the evidence is in front of me so this is a trial by fire for the no, let me tell you because you but see let me, let me tell you clear. let me tell you this there is there is a, no very quickly because i want to bring in sanju varma there is very one more second one second this one point for viewers It's very easy for the honorable union minister to come on TV and 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 give summons about reading from live law. What he didn't say the basic point, and Sanju is a good uh, spokesperson, she'll tell you this was not a bail hearing at all. This wasn't. It was about wrong arrest by ED. They upheld it on those grounds. You just said it process is punishment. punishment. The, the process, process has been upheld. No, 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 no. Yes, the process has been because, upheld. Because That's the, what I'm saying. Anyhow, let me bring in Sanju Varma. The process. That let me bring in Sanju Varma. You see, the Congress Party has an odd situation going on. At the center. <laughs> at the center rahul gandhi says oac is the b team of the bjp but we are now being told that they will not put a candidate against him then they say that look uh, the gujarat model is absurdly wrong and that you know all these people are finishing the opposition and guess what revant reddy comes out and says no 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 the gujarat model is the best i wish i could adopt it and i will <laughs> adopt it so look now we have mr markan who should be today singing all the way like a canary to the bank saying dekho maine to bola tha ab ye log meri baat nahi maan rahe and abhi bhi nahi maan rahe so sanju varma i want to ask you today the process is the punishment mr punawala <laughs> still says that he'll come out clean we don't need to review our arrangement with them uh, you know uh, rahul uh, tehsin singh sanju varma is a good spokesperson uh, was music to my ears 
because uh, we've always been uh, very belligerent and on the opposite sides of the spectrum. But uh, Tehsin, uh, that is not going to stop me from speaking the hard facts on the hard facts. And, you know, I have this to say. Very quickly, I'll read out for me, this was the most important part of the entire judgment today, given by Justice S.K. Sharma. I think this literally summed up, you know, uh, everything about the case. Do you remember that, you know, what has been the single biggest grouse by the Aam Army Party panelists on every debate? They say that the, uh, you know, uh, fact that Dinesh, appro uh, Dinesh Arora, he turned approver wide section 306 of the CRPC, that does not hold water because the enforcement directorate has been clearly saying that it is not just Dinesh Arora who turned approver, but people like Arun Ramchandra Pillai, people like Vijay Nair, people like Samir Mahendru, people like uh, Abhishek Boimpalli, people like Amandeep Dhal, people like Amit Arora. All these people, if not officially an approver, they've started singing like a canary in front of the ED. Now, today, Justice Swaran Kant Sharma clearly said that people who blame the ED, he may not have worded it, uh, you know, said it in as many words, but he said ki approver ki statement, ye judicial magistrate likhta hai. He said it in Hindi. Approver ki statement, investigating agency ya enforcement directorate nahi likhta hai. Which means he indirectly said that people who claim that the enforcement directorate is a handmaiden of the Modi government. They are barking up the wrong tree because if, say, a Dinesh Arora has turned approver white section 306 of the CRPC, his statement holds good as per the Indian Evidence Act because he's given that statement in front of a judicial magistrate who has recorded his statements. The enforcement directorate has not been recording the statements of approvers. It is only doing its job, which is that of probing and investigating the nature of the crime. Okay. So I think point number one, the enforcement directorate indirectly has been given an absolutely clean chit and is doing a stellar job. Whether its conviction rate is 96% or 0.1% is not the question here. And the second very important thing, which the enforcement directorate said, it said that, you know, each time you people talk about the timing of the elections, Hame timing of the election se koi fark mein padta hai, whether elections are there or not, we are going to proceed as per the law of the land. And the third very important statement by Justice S.K. Sharma was that, you know, uh, Abhishek Manu Singh, we said, uh, uh, why Magunta Reddy's father has now joined the BJP-led NDA alliance. And Magunta Reddy, as a son, Raghav Magunta Reddy, he's an accused. And, you know, he's also turned the approval. So his statements lack uh, the conviction because he's an interested party now since his father is in the NDA. What did Justice S.K. Sharma said? We are not concerned who is giving ticket to whom, who has joined which party, whether Raghunta Reddy has joined a party or his father has joined XYZ. Okay. We well, are only concerned yeah. we are only concerned with upholding the process. True. The True. process the court, is supreme. Yes. The process is not the, court, the punishment. The court might be the court might be of course going completely by the process, but you would agree Sanju Verma, it doesn't really look good. Once again. You know, justice also needs to be seen to be done. It doesn't look good. Nonetheless, we've already had that discussion, a previous thing. Yes, very quickly, so Tessin Kunawala, I want to bring in two, two, Karan Verma. Yeah, yes. uh, sorry, yeah. Karan, just two or three very quick points. Point number one. You said one. Three. I, I, I no, take no, the Three. Inflation, the, right. inflation has gone up. Hmm. Sanju says the courts go by the process. I agree with it. The process is also to lose Chagan Bujwal's file and close the case. The court had to go by it. What can a court do? The court can't no, go beyond I the brief. It didn't go into... Sanju, just, Sanju, 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 please allow me. Sanju, yeah. please allow me. The court can't go beyond its brief. Okay, make second now, point. Yeah. Number two. Yeah. At the time of the approval being granted by the court, yeah. this is in case of P. Sarat Chandra Reddy, yeah. the court did not know that he was giving 50 odd okay. crore rupees to the BJP. Third. That no, will no, come no, up. No, third. third. Come in here. One no, second. No. Yeah, third. third. Yeah. Ultimately, while the BJP may have some legitimate grounds on saying that we have something against Kejriwal, which they don't, why is it that when they have other, I, 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 other people who are on their side, the ED does not act in an impartial okay, manner? That's no, a different no, 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 thing. No, 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 so this process is not just Rahul, vitiated. Okay. This process is guided by the BJP. Okay. Deliberately, Sanju Varma, quick one. Quick one. And Karan Varma comes in. Yes. Yeah. 
राहुल आई यू नो कम्प्लीटली आई एम अम्यूज आई एम नॉट एजुकेटेड बाय तहसील पूनावाला हिपोक्रेसी वेन दी सुप्रीम कोर्ट डिसमिस दी मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग केस अगेंस्ट डी के शिव कुमार तहसील पूनावाला सिट्स ऑन राहुल शिवशंकर शो एंड सर सब चंगा सी सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज डन अ सुपीरियर जॉब द सेम बॉम्बे हाईकोर्ट एंड सुप्रीम कोर्ट दे हैव डिसमिस्ड the case against chagan bhujbal they dismissed the case against ashok chavan who incidentally took oath as the rajya sabha member of the bjp why is it that when ashok chavan is given a clean chit you have a problem when chagan bhujbal is given a clean chit you have a problem but when dk oh, shiv kumar is given a clean chit you say oh everything is fine in lalalan okay. no no okay. no 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 you know okay. rahul uh, tehsin can cast as many aspersions as he wants on ed but today it is a vindication of the process by the ed and some of the statements that have come very clearly worded uh, i am quoting from the judgment today to co cast doubt on the manner of recording statement of approver would amount to casting aspersions on court and judge so whether it is approver statements whether it is the whole electoral bond facade that has been time and again brought by aap the court was very clear who gives tickets to whom or who purchases electoral bonds is none of the concern of the court minutes, yeah. whether it's the vendetta argument that they talk okay. about timing again timing is examined as per law not as per the timing of the elections it has clearly said that kejriwal was involved in use and concealment of proceeds of crime what can be more clearer than this and you know ed it takes a hell lot rahul in today's day and age to go through layers and layers of shell companies and finally come up with a money trail ed has done a stellar job no no you'll not get anything out of it today by you know saying ed has done this ed has done that ed has today proved that its process today stands the test of the court today and you know uh, tehsin it's very rich for him to say that you know we'll stand with up it was anil kumar choudhry their state pradesh adhyaksh first letter in 3 june 2022 who shot off the first letter official complaint saying that arvind kejriwal and aam aadmi party is involved in the liquor scam pavan khera said kal ko agar pakde gaye pura shrey hame jana chahiye on 12th march 2023 so how can the congress after doing all this be holier than thou and align with us when nah, this has well, come from the courts well hypocrisy all around viewers but let me tell you tomorrow the matter might be heard by the like supreme like court one second uh, miss 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 one second miss huda time is up is time is up time is up time is up crore. supreme court will hear this matter that's the only reason why we are exercising restraint remember also viewers that the matter has been concluded on the legality of the arrest not still on the bail and it hasn't gone into the merits of the matter but the observations are striking 